today I'm going to be doing a review and looking at the performance a little bit of the 2.9 GHz i7 uh, 13-inch MacBook Pro. So this is a slightly more high-spec 13-inch MacBook Pro with a 2.9 GHz i7 processor which turbo boosts up to 3.6 GHz. It has 8 GB of RAM, a 750 GB hard drive, Intel HD Graphics 4000 which are built in, they're not dedicated but they're not too bad and it has a 13.3 inch LED backlit glossy widescreen display. So on this first side of the MacBook Pro we have uh, the MagSafe power adapter here, uh, we have the Ethernet port, we have the Firewire 800, we have the Thunderbolt port which is sort of like high speed data transfer and or you can use it to plug into a display so it's a display port also and we've got two USB 3.0s a card reader headphone jack and this here is the battery indicator you press in it shows you how much charge you have on the front of the MacBook Pro we have like a sort of latch here where you can slide your finger under to lift up the screen um, and this here is like a sort of glowing sleep light so when your computer's sleeping it sort of glows and you can, I don't know, tell that it's sleeping. And on this side of the MacBook Pro we have a Kensington lock here so you can lock up the MacBook Pro so it doesn't get stolen. And along here we have uh, the Super Drive so you can still burn DVDs and CDs. Which has actually been removed from the Retina MacBook Pros to save space and make it a bit more thin. And that's actually one of the reasons I purchased this model as it's still got that ability with the disk slot. And at the back of the MacBook Pro there's kind of like a plasticky strip along here which kind of goes away from the sort of aluminium finish. So the overall finish of the MacBook Pro is second to none, it's really nice. The screen, although it's not retina, still looks really good. It's really bright, vibrant, nice and sharp. The actual body, it's really smooth and flush. Um, the keyboard's great for typing on, it's really fast and the keys just feel nice. And the trackpad here is really good and it allows you to do lots of gestures like uh, you can do this and it brings up your uh, launch pad so you can see all your applications on your computer and you can do this to sort of see all your open windows, you can slide up and it shows you your sort of launch pad, everything that's going on and you can, if you've got applications which take up full screen you can swipe through them using the trackpad and well I'm just going through to the dashboard here so yeah that's really nice so all the applications and everything like that run really smoothly on this computer so for instance I just open up Safari, it's quit at the moment and it's just instantly opens and loads up so it's really nice and fast or same thing with um, most of the applications that are built in like and I've got uh, Creative Suite installed on here which is reasonably intensive so like I just open up Photoshop with this image here I took so bring that down it's opening now so it's pretty instant so everything's really nice and speedy and it opens up pretty nicely so and when you're actually using the applications, it's there's you don't experience any real lag or anything, and it just runs really fluidly and nice. So here I'll just try add a filter or two. So I'll go uh, stylize solarize. What's that? There we go. So it looks a bit negative, and then we'll go filter. Stylize trace contour. Oh, that wasn't very good. And uh, maybe adjustments. Change the channel mixer. No. You can see it's really fast. You don't experience any issues when it's like adjusting. It's really good. Um, to show you games, unfortunately, all I've really got installed is Grand Theft Auto 3, which is not really very intensive, but anyway, I'll just show you it. So obviously, the computer handles it pretty well, but, um, yeah. Oop. 
to start a new game, it seems. I don't play for the extra red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Anyway, it's enough of that. So something that's also really nice about this MacBook Pro and all the MacBook Pros, all the sort of Mac laptops, is of course the backlit keyboard. So when you're in the dark, you can see typing. Turn that up, and you can, well, not from this camera, but you can see all the keys illuminated, sort of. Well, not on the camera, but it's really handy when you're in the dark and you're trying to. Uh, another good thing worth mentioning about the MacBook Pro is its battery life, which is very good. Uh, Apple says it's sort of a seven hour battery uh, if you're browsing the web uh, and stuff like that, simple tasks. But if you've got the screen brightness up, obviously it doesn't quite last that long. But um, turn it down a little bit. I actually found it lasted me sort of all day just sort of here and there using it. If I wasn't using it too much, it lasts a couple of days just sitting here uncharged. So that's really handy. Overall, this is a fantastic laptop. It's fast, looks good, built really nicely. Uh, applications run flawlessly. It's good for video editing, anything like that. Um, it's a little pricey, but I think it's a really great buy. So I hope I've answered some question wall sort of showing you around a bit and giving you a bit of understanding to it so if you like the video please like and subscribe and I should have some more videos coming along uh, soon if you've got any questions just comment below and I'll try to get back to you thanks guys Boop.